Hola mi gente, welcome to Kiss My Crafts. I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, my name is Maritza, in case you didn't know. Um, welcome to the channel if it's your first time and if you're returning, thank you for returning. I appreciate you. Uh, what do we have? I have my first, very first diamond painting from Diamond Painting Fanatics. Um, Cindy Michelle, who is the owner of Diamond Painting Fanatics, that um, has a series of diamond paintings from different artists specifically featured for the domestic violence event that I'm hosting in October along with Keisha Warren called Break the Silence 2023. And I ordered this. Um, she did a live with Keisha and they, she was showing the diamond paintings that were featured for this event on her website. And... Um, this one, I liked all of them. This one stood out to me because of the title. So I will explain about that. I don't know if I'll explain today or I'll explain in a whipping chat, but I'll explain about that. So let me get it open. It does come in one of those um, bubble boots. Now, I remember back in the day when I first started diamond painting and a company sent your diamond painting in a bubble boot. It was... It was horrifying because back then most of the diamond paintings were double-sided adhesive and the bubble boot did a number on the shape of the diamond painting. It gave it all. It had it took the shape of the the bubbles. Um this is poured glue. We don't have to worry about that, okay? Um anyway, I got my not holding it right. Got my my Melly machete. Melly, where you at? I haven't spoken to Melly. Wait, let me open this right. I don't want to pop the bubbles. Even though they're not like bubbles, they're like long strips of filled long strips filled with air. <laughs> okay. This does come from China. So it, it took, I don't know how long. It might have been two or three weeks. I'm not sure. But it didn't feel so, too long. So here is your, your boot. These, I had used one of these that I got once to transport a liquor bottle. And I mean, it was a shorter boot. But yeah, they, they do have their uses. All right. Look at your drills. Look how pretty those colors are. I love these. They they just rem they do remind me of fall though. All these pretty um peaches and corals and we have some pink. We have some purples. Um we have this big big bag. It looks like is it 310? It kind of looks kind of brown. We'll see. We'll see. And it does come with an inventory sheet. It is a very soft bag. It reminds me of the Craftably bags. I don't like to compare. You know, I never do, but I just wanted to give you an idea. The edges are scalloped and they are pulled. Or is that thread in there that I see? No, but... You see they're scored. I'm going to say they're scored because that's not actually a poke because they're like little dashes. Can you see that? Yeah, we're in focus, right? So you can see that it's that soft back. This is rolled around the foam roller. So I'm going to open it and roll it back. This is our tool kit. So you get a metal tweezer, a white boat with the spout. You get two square pieces of wax. You get a squishy for your pen, and your pen has a seven placer, it looks like. Okay. Oh, we get stickers, too. An inventory sheet and stickers. Cool. Okay, let's let that sit for a minute. I don't think I'll have to roll it back. foam roller. All right, let's look at our sticker sheet. Our sticker sheet has, they're not perforated, so you have to cut them. 
Um, this one has 48 colors. It's a 50 by 70 round. Look at that. It's called The Pain I Hide. And this is by Knox River. Isn't that gorgeous? She's got a tear coming down her eye. She's got a little bit of blood coming from her lips. This is deep without being super hard to look at because Keisha showed me some that someone wanted to use or someone wanted to put up for sale as or featured as a diamond painting company um, with some domestic violence images but they were like creepy as hell like I would I couldn't I didn't I wouldn't want a diamond painted because they were just not they would trigger a lot of people they triggered me a little bit um but this one the pain I hide why did that stand out to me why did that why did I connect with it because when I was going through what I was going through I told no one not even my best friends knew. No one knew what I was going through. Um, and I hid it. I hid it for a lot of years. So um, that's why I, it connected to, I connected with it. And aside from that, it's a beautiful image. Um, I love the purple in it. I love her skin tone. Oh my goodness, this is pretty. This is a lot of color blocking, um, very little confetti. It's a beautiful canvas. And the rendering, I think I, I got the perfect size. Um, Diamond Painting Fanatics has, from the smallest that is possible, well, not the smallest that is possible, because the smallest possible can be 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters, but... Um, I think she go as low as 30 by 40 on some, all the way up to, I think it's 90 by 250 or something like that. Yeah, you can get a diamond painting up to 250 centimeters and it's offered on all the paintings that she has on the website. Um, and she has artists like Knox River um, and our very own Travis Gets Creative. He goes by Travis Johnson on, on his artwork and he has some pretty spectacular pieces. Um, and he also has some features for the domestic violence event. Um, and there's a few other artists that I write off the top of my head. I can't remember. Um, but this is the one that spoke to me. Now, when they showed them on the live, it was this one and a few others. Um, and they all have um, a woman in the painting that looks like she has been through something or has overcome something um, in her life and or you know related to domestic violence and this one this one was the one that spoke to me and I really really love it so let's take a look at this canvas since it's the first time I've ever gotten one we have I guess that's her their slogan I am a I am a diamond painting fanatic. Yes, I am. On this side, we have the size and the name of the painting. Down here, we have the website for Diamond Painting Fanatics. Here is the artist's name. One legend on the bottom left with a thumbnail. Um, I'm trying to see, did I get ABs? I don't remember. I think I did because this, I don't know if that has anything to do with it, the ABY. And both, there's another color list on the top right and they both have the thumbnail. Isn't that beautiful? She almost reminds me of Naomi Campbell. Young. Even though Naomi Campbell still looks young. <laughs> this is a ni very nice canvas. I like it. I'm very impressed. Um, let's look at the drills. I did get a round.
This is going to work out quickly. <laughs> I'm not going to start it yet. <laughs> I got till October, okay? I still have to make up my mind, though, because there's a few that I picked out for this, this event. Okay, so what do we get on the inventory sheet? On the inventory sheet, we got the color number. We got the symbol. We have the uh, DMC number here. The weight of the bag how many is in each bag, how many bags you get. So you get a lot of information. I haven't seen one of these in a very long time and I did like my inventory sheets. Stickers, you know, like this sticker I could use for reference if I can't see, uh, depending on the position on the table where that the diamond painting is, if I can't see the um, color list comfortably, I would use the sticker sheet, but when you have the perfect, this one I would, I can use because it's not perforated. When you have the perforated, they come apart, so I can't use them. So I appreciate and like the inventory sheet. I really do. Okay, so let's see our drills. The, the bag is not marked, so if you separate your drills, you should mark the bag with something um the name of the painting uh whatever there's no it doesn't have an actual item number i don't know if it's this aby is the item number i'm not sure so you would have to mark it okay so let's look at our drills first of all let me see what this big old bag is oh this is 310 why does it look brown to me so this is 310, lots and lots of 310. That's all the, the shadings in her eyes, the background, the shading on this side of her face, her chin, her neck, and the more background. Okay, but let's look at these drills. Hold on, I'm gonna get a tray. There is, an, uh, there is a Travis painting that I have my eye on, and he did a couple of big cats, and they're absolutely stunning. They're beautiful, and I really, really want one of those. So when I'm back to purchasing again, oh, these are really, really shiny. Okay. Let me do this where very shiny. They line up very nicely. I see no trash, even though rounds, I don't always come across trash, but in, <laughs> in one of the rounds working on, I did come across a lot of trash and I was a little surprised. But then it was, a, again, it was an AliExpress company that I did a custom, my skull girl. Okay. These are really, really nice drills. Very nice. I'm impressed. I don't even see... Oh, yeah, I see a little bit of dimpling, but nothing major. It looks more like a pinprick. Uh, let me be careful. I don't want to drop this bag. Wait, you're not in focus, right? Okay, yes, you are. I don't want to just drop this bag, and I don't want to drop these drills. Okay, I got to tap this a little better. Sorry. I'm tapping it on my stool. The stool that holds stiffy. <laughs> What is a stiffy? Stiffy is the lazy arm that holds my phone while I record. It's meant to hold tablets and phones so you can clamp it to your bed and you can read at night or talk on the phone at night, video chat, whatever. I use it to record. Oh, we got two big bags of 310. This one's a little bit smaller, but it's packed tight. All right, let's look at another color, a lighter color. Whoa, whoa this is getting stuck. Look at this pretty peach. The color palette is so pretty. It's not my usually, you know, bright rainbow type colors that I love. But I can deal with these. I can deal with these. The, the, the browns are actually pretty. Okay. 
they are very very nice and they're very sparkly and it's not really coming through on camera i see it more in person love it love it love it i love this this is beautiful i was on the fence of which painting i was gonna do but i think i'm gonna do this one <laughs> I have a Captured by Radiance, which is another sponsor for the event. And boy, is she sponsoring the event. Um, she, she has been very generous. And can we get in focus? Sorry. All right. Um, yeah, she has been very generous in her, in her donation to the event. Now let's look for the ABs. Yeah, that's it. So we have three ABs. We have a really pretty blue, which is DMC 796. The coating on the ABs is really, really nice. Usually you don't get the full sparkle of the ABs through the camera. But look how much these are sparkling. Because we're not in focus. Come on, let's focus. Look at that. Decoding takes up the whole top. Let's look at it in the tray. <laughs> Whoa, I poured too many. Oh, wow. These are gorgeous. Look at that. The coating takes up the whole top of the drill. Very pretty, I'm happy. This is going to be very, very beautiful. I don't know if I will add more bling because I don't know. I need to just leave it as is since it's my first time with this company. Just so it could, we can see. <laughs> this thing doesn't want to stay in focus. Okay, so we have that pretty blue. What's, what is this? 796. It's the letter T goes up in her top lip. There's some up here. There's one here. There's a couple there. Okay, I think that's it. Then we have this pretty purple which is DMC 80, um, 208 what is going on okay there we go that's beautiful so 208 is the number 3 They're up here where you see this purple. I don't know where I, I don't, oh, there's like a couple spread out over here. I don't see any more. There's not that many of them, so that might be all. And then we have 3865, which is the white that's going here. That's here, here, you got some here. Um, up here, that whole block of white over here. Anywhere you see white is where this, this DMC, this, um, what do you call it? Ay, Dios mio. This AB is going to go in. I love it. Look at the drill field. 
it is super clear. Um, they do have a very light guide circle. I don't mind those. I don't like the ones with the thick black line. This is a very beautiful canvas. I am very happy. Let's check the stickiness of it. It's sticky, all right. <laughs> so what do you... Oh, can we get in focus, me? Dios mío, what's going on? Okay. Now let me give you another look. She's beautiful. It's deep. It's sad. But it's beautiful. All right, mi gente. This is it for now. I will link Diamond Painting Fanatics down below. Um, she also has a YouTube channel. And like I said before, it's Cindy Michelle. Um, and I'll link her YouTube channel. There's a Facebook group, I think, as well. Um, so, yeah, all the links down below. Thank you for joining me. Thank you, Cindy, for sending getting this out to me. Um, I love it. And you guys know what to do. Until my next video, take care of yourselves. Be safe and besos. Mm -hmm.